Hi everyone, so if you are considering using or not using the RAIN network only SIM in South Africa but are undecided, this video is going to help clarify a few things you need to know. The first thing that you need to check, of course, is to check that you have the RAIN network coverage before you even consider using RAIN. What you're going to have to do is you're going to go to rain.co.za and once in your rain.co.za page, you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom. Now here is where you check network coverage. And if you say, for example, that say you're a student at the uh, tax, you're going to just say Hatfield because that's where you're going to be using it mostly, right? And uh, now you check the coverage and you see how you check the coverage is the fact that everything that has the uh, light blue is covered by the rain network right and these ones that are kind of grayish it means those are not covered okay so after checking your coverage like now i can see it's hatfield is covered it's it's all blue light blue this means that it's actually covered so once you've checked that your uh, area is covered, the next thing that you're going to need to do is you need to have a payment card that you're going to use for the purchase. I don't know if they allow like cash on delivery, but when I ordered my SIM, I had to use my credit card. And so you need to pay online and they'll come and deliver the, the SIM card to you. And if you have that, you decided that you're going to use the RAIN network, you need to prepare your proof of address and ID. You need to have them ready for when they deliver because unless they have that, they cannot rig uh, your SIM card. So the next thing you need to uh, look at is the things you need to consider before ordering to make sure that the RAIN is the right product for your data connection needs. Now to explain this, simply is the fact that between 6 p.m. and 11 p.m. you're gonna be paying their peak hour rate which is 50 rand per gig so what you're gonna need to keep in mind then is even if you have the unlimited data uh, option if you've chosen that and you haven't set your spend limit or you set your spend limit high outside of the off peak times, you're going to be paying 50 Rand for every one gig that you use. And this means you will only be able to use the unlimited off peak rate between 11 p.m. at night and 6 p.m. the next day. Every day between 11 p.m. at night and 6 p.m. the next day, you are on the unlimited data plan. If you choose the unlimited 250 rand per month data plan, if that is suitable for you, uh, you can also choose the 50 rand per gig, maybe between 6 and 11. You can set your spend limit to, say, for example, 350 or 300 or sorry, or 400. And what it's going to do is it's going to allow you to still use your SIM card between 6 and 11 p.m., but it's going to charge you 50 rand per gig. Now, rain is always going to warn you when you're about to reach your limit, so you don't have to worry about getting surprises and all of that. Now, and then the next thing that we should think about. Um, so if you are happy with paying 250 rand a month to use the, the off peak hours between uh, between 11 p.m. and 6 p.m. in the evening, then it means you're good to go. You can order your rain, your rain SIM card. And so what I'm going to do is the same thing that I did. I wanted to use the rain network between 11 and 6 p.m. But I didn't want to be paying the 50 rand per gig um, uh, peak hour rate. So I just made sure that 
my data my sim card only works between 11 p.m and 6 p.m for this option so to do that if you decided that you're going to order your sim card you're going to go to a browser of your choice now you're going to type rain.co.za like i said before and then you're going to scroll down to the products right you have two different products here but uh, I think this one that is pay as you go only lets you have the option of using 50 rand per gig and it does not give you this option of 250 rand per month okay so you if you really want to try this out you can order this sim card and as you can see they always give you the first seven days free I actually did have that so I can confirm that they do give you seven days free usage of your uh, data so let's say for example this is the option we want to choose we click on buy and then over here you're gonna name your sim card so the sim card for example is gonna be um, review sim okay you name the sim card this is always gonna be the name they're gonna use to refer to your sim card and then what I did to make sure that my data works between 11 and 6 p.m. only and I don't get any other charges extra. I don't have to switch off my SIM card or my data at a certain time or anything like that. I set the set a monthly peak gig limit. I set this to absolutely zero. And when you set this to zero, it means rain is only going to bill you the 250 rand per month and this is on zero limitation so it's not going to allow you to use the um, sim card between 6 and 11 pm but if you want to pay the um, 50 rand per gig maybe you can opt to like 50 rand you know one gig and you can be very frugal between 6 and 11 pm and go crazy again between 11 and 6 pm the next day um, but I chose this so that I don't have to worry about being overcharged at all. Then you go to add to cart, right? And then they're gonna warn you, if you have chosen a set amount peak gig limit of zero, you will not be able to use data during peak hours, 6 and 11 p.m. So I'm confirming that because I'm okay with it. And now it's in my cart. So when you go to your cart, you can click on checkout and then fill out these forms according to your personal details. And after that, you click uh, the, to agree the terms and conditions. I know everybody clicks even though they don't read it. And then you click confirm and you will have your SIM delivered to you in a couple of days at the most. If now, you're ordering it during honest, the week, you could probably experience. get it the next day. Now, to be very honest with my experience with rain, I wasn't very happy in the beginning. The first couple of months were sort of a hit and miss because uh, there were times when my network was good and times when my network was bad. When I would travel, obviously it was inconsistent because I did not check the rain network coverage in other areas besides the one where I stay in, like I showed you now. And uh, because of that, whenever I would travel, I would always get disconnected and reconnected and disconnected and reconnected. So that was really, really annoying. Like even the sound of it is annoying. So that was very inconsistent and I didn't like it. But I also discovered later on that it was actually the device I was using that wasn't as strong as it should have been because when I got another device, it actually worked better. And right now, as we speak, I'm doing this review because my network has improved drastically and I can experience a whole day of very good network, that whole unlimited uh, 250 rand a month. I actually, for the most part, have good network. I would even hotspot from my device to different devices and I would still have good connection if uh, I'm in a good area especially. So it can be a hit and miss. There are some things that you will get, some things that you don't, but the one thing that you can keep in mind is that for 250 rand, 
between 11 p.m. and 6 p.m. Um, and limited data not so many network actually offer that much they would always limit it to maybe 20 gigs or 30 gigs at the most but never unlimited so if you're thinking of using the rain network I would say try it out the first seven days is free so you can always just cancel it if you're not happy and if you have used it even more than the seven days and you want to cancel it's one click away to cancel it it's on the website there in your dashboard so I hope this review actually helped you in some kind of way let me know in the comments below all right bye